Okay, guys, now to talk about, um, Survivor Second Chances, now that, um, all the contestants have, um, been selected and we've gotten a good amount of lowdown for um, this season. So, um, first of all, my opinion of the twist is that um, I think it's a nice and unique move done by producers because fans have been complaining, you know, lately about hating what producers have done, so this gives the fans a chance to set up a season rather than producers, and it's going to be interesting to see what reaction is going to be, both in terms of fans who voted and fans who didn't vote, because I actually didn't vote, because the way I see it, it's kind of like these Big Brother twists, where, like, I could vote for them, but I'm like, that's us manipulating the game. I don't really like that. I want the players to dictate the course of the game themselves. I mean, like, sure, yes, I'm only participating in, like, the opening minute of the show, and literally that is it, but... It's just something that tells me I should not be involved in this. I mean, like, for crying out loud, uh... Big Brother Canada, yeah. You got some choice words to say about those twists, yeah. So yeah, I didn't vote, and, but get this, I actually didn't listen to anyone's videos as to why they should get um, back on the show, because... Well, the week that I'm recording this is actually the finals week for the semester of college I'm in, so I kind of got screwed there. <laughs> right. So now I'm going to be talking about, um... Everybody, in the order that Jeff revealed that they are in the show or out, uh, not in the show, I mean. It could be off a tad bit because of those group announcements, but I'll describe my thoughts on everybody and blah de blah Okay, so first reaction. Kelly from Season 1 going back on the show. I'm glad to see her come back, and I'm also really surprised because out of all that, um... Final Four for Borneo, Kelly seemed to, like, drop off the face of the Earth, you know, after her season. Because, like, I remember looking her up on Survivor Wiki and seeing practically zero updates from her. I'm like, what happened? I mean, like, she was early on in the show. Shouldn't she be remembered a little bit more, you know? So I'm glad to see her come back. And, like, I didn't even recognize her. I seriously thought that she was Monica from Blood was Water. <laughs> Funny, huh? <laughs> So I'm excited to see her. Kimmy and Jeff from Australia now to back. Um, I'm reasonably excited to see these two because I honestly thought they were more minor characters in that season, but anybody who watched that season as one of the earlier seasons of Survivor, which I did, will remember pretty much everybody there. But I'm really unsure about this because unlike a... Kelly, I'm a lot more unsure about them mingling into the post-HVV format of the show, you know, like Tina had some trouble doing that, and Colby had trouble doing that in HVV, and um, there's a little bit of a curse when it comes to Australia and Outback, because get this, with the exception of Jerry and HVV, literally every time a contestant from Australia and Outback has come back on the show, it gets a lot of people pissed off at them. Now, I know that you're going to argue, well, people weren't so negative to the people who appeared in All Stars. Correct. Not too many people were, but the people who started becoming fans of the show around HVV, however, have given them, you know, bad points, because now Amber is just listed as being a Boston Rob Acolyte, like the real Boston Rob Acolytes, you know. And then Colby really downturned his image in HVV, and Tina didn't really do that great of playing a new school game in Blood vs. Water. Jerry downgraded herself in All Stars, but redeemed herself in HVV. Scoop, and even though he did get to the end, it really was not that smooth of a game compared to what he was doing in old school for. Man, trust me on this. And then Elizabeth, even though she hasn't ever come back, has really turned into being one of the most hated um, people on uh, politician or news shows out there. Trust me, I've seen the comments and remarks that she's done. Ooh, boy, Elizabeth, to think that I supported you? Jeez, so I'm really hoping they can break the curse, but is the trend of having 
at least one person, whenever there's um, a person who returns from Australia now, but get to the finale of the show, hmm? Because literally, every time someone from Australia now has come back, they've always gone into the finale. Lee, although Jerry and Tina didn't get to day 39, right? So that'll be interesting to see. Keith from San Juan del Sur. Okay. Keith uh, G from China coming in. Sorry if I butchered her name. I haven't seen China, although I probably should now. Um, I have seen enough of China to know that she was definitely a noticeable player, and she really did appear to try her heart out, because I saw a little bit of her last couple episodes in China, and she seemed real disappointed to be out, and from what I remember, she almost was able to save herself, and almost, I think, get everybody to turn on Todd from that season, so, yeah, I'd say she's on the votes to go in there. Gives me exposure to somebody I'm not as familiar with. Then we've got uh, Stephanie from Redemption Island and Teresa from Africa not returning. Well, not too many people seem to like Africa, and I don't really remember her for her gameplay that much. I just remember her for her social interactions. To be honest, I wouldn't have been opposed to her coming back, but there you go. And then Stephanie from Redemption Island? Well, I think it's Redemption Island hate that doomed her, but I wouldn't have been opposed to seeing her come back, because I think she did have a bit of a game going on there, I don't know. I don't think anyone's ever we were going to forgive Redemption Island, to be honest. Whatever. It's in the past. Then Sierra and Vetus? Kinda obvious, to be honest. And that's really all I can say about that. <laughs> then uh, Jim from South Pacific. Yeah, I was a little bit bummed to hear that because I always felt like he was the kind of person that they would probably invite back, but he apparently just didn't get enough votes or people have South Pacific hate going on in their minds. <laughs> Sabrina, pff, one world hate and really that's it. And even I wasn't too enthusiastic about seeing her come back, because pre-merge, she had a game going on. Post-merge, Chelsea took her place in my eyes. It's been forever, though, since I saw One World. Maybe I should see it again. Huh. Might bump it down on the Wii Watch. Not sure. Then a uh, Terry coming back. I'm surprised the guy hasn't um, come back on the show before, and I think he would have been back on uh, Micronesia, because I think they were originally going to do an All-Star season before they uh, have the cast. And then uh, Andrew Savage, yeah, that was a surprise to me, because I do remember him uh, being a noticeable player in um, Pearl Islands, but kind of unsure about him, because he was on, you know, an incompetent tribe, and also, you know, it's another way old-school person going into the post hv environment. Can he do it? Now, can Terry... Do it, not sure, but, you know, he looked ready to go. I'm sure he's been keeping up with the show if I watch his vids, you know, so... Who knows what's gonna happen with um, these two. Then, uh, Abby and Kaz? Not really a surprise at all. And I gotta be honest, when I first heard that Abby was mentioned to be coming back, I'm like, oh, no, come on. But after thinking it f about it for a while, I go, you know what? It's been a long time since Philippines happened, people have stopped mentioning it now, so, you know what, Abby? Go ahead. Take another chance out there, and hopefully you can play a game that you're a lot more satisfied with. Oh, I mean, like, I'm sure she's satisfied in some ways about Philippines, but I think she'd like a little less controversial rumors around her, that kind of thing, even though I don't want this all to be about redeeming yourself in, like, the public eye. Because they've got their own group of fans, you know. Not too many people really needed to redeem themselves in the public eye, unlike Colton, who didn't, and Coach, who I feel did. Hey! Okay, where was I? <laughs> uh, Kelly Wentworth from San Juan del Sur. That wasn't a surprise at all. But uh, Monica from Samoa. Yeah, that was a bit of a shock. I mean, like, I... Haven't seen Samoa, but know what happens, but... Really? Monica? I don't know, just one of those votes. Yeah. 
I don't know. It, it could be that there was actually a little bit more buzz about the women that made the merge in that season. Hmm. I really don't know. Like I said, I haven't seen it, but I'm not actually looking forward to it. Then, uh, Natalie not coming back. That was kind of a given. I mean, like, sure, Jeff is trying to jump on the bandwagon of Redemption Island players coming back and improving themselves, at least in my eyes, but... Seriously? <laughs> Just... Why? Michaela from South Pacific? Yeah, I'm disappointed about that. I would have liked to have seen her get another chance because Brandon totally screwed her over. Yeah, thanks, Brandon. Sheesh. Sharin? Not too surprising because now we get to, um, get one of the more controversial people out there who we can't totally put our finger on, come back, and then hopefully we can put a finger on her. Her, I mean, like, I'm not entirely happy about it, but I get the feeling that we should be able to get a resolution on her, like with Cochran and, uh, Caramon, because when he came back at first, I was like, oh, crap, but I'm like, okay, wait a minute. I was kind of unsure about, um, you last time, because you were a major player in terms of camera time, but in terms of gameplay, you didn't do that much, so, you know, let's see, you get another chance where the edit is not going to be the same, and see how you do, so... Yeah, I hope that we can put a finger on her by the end of this and determine where we stand. And that's really all I can say. Carolyn not making it. Yeah, that was a shock. Goes to show, she had a good ride for most of it, I think, but then at the end, just... Floop. Max, um... I guess there was just too many other big characters, although I am kind of glad he isn't, because I didn't want this to be all of Worlds Apart suddenly just, like, jumping right back into the mix and being a huge block. I mean, like, Dr. Ross brings up a pretty good example of something very similar to, like, that happened. Hint, hint. Uh, Steven coming back. Well, I'm real glad to see him come back, because even though I never saw Togen Teens, he was one of the runner-ups that I just got the idea that nobody was really happy with how his game ended. And I mean, like, for crying out loud, uh, he got to the end with only one vote cast against him, and he only got that vote because somebody just decided to throw away their vote so they didn't have to vote for the person who would be eliminated. I know that much about Token Teen, so yeah, we're glad to see him coming back, but... Unfortunately, I think that guy is doomed, uh, you know, because he talks about the game so much that just, yeah, I totally think he's doomed along with a couple of other people out there like Terry. Trust me, I'm going to be real shocked if Terry gets as deep as he did last time. Ooh. Right. Uh, Wu coming back, I expected it, not too infused about it, but I knew that he had the fan base. I mean, for crying out loud... I think, in terms of Mr. Survivor, he was like 6th or 5th, you know? Mm, it's just one of those things. Troyzen not coming back, I'm a little surprised by that, but... At the same time, you know, there are all other characters, you know. I do think that was a bit of a bummer, because he was, um... Originally gonna be on a Caramon, I think, but then he got replaced with Malcolm. Kind of like how, uh... Either Shane or Penner was replaced by Russell in uh, HVV. Yeah, I've never really been able to figure out who they uh, filmly replaced it with. And there's like three different people, even though I mentioned two. Tasha, expected. Jeremy, fairly expected. Could have happened, could have not happened. Shane, not coming back. Come on! Seriously, that is, I think, seriously the biggest affront out of all the people not coming back on this season. I mean, for crying out loud, okay, Shane and Exile Island played a terrible game, yes, but I laughed every day second of it. This guy is hilarious. Well, at least he was, given what he was doing. I mean, for crying out loud, oh, hey there, I'm going to, I'm just, yeah, I'm just tired of all these people. Yes, my fake joke, can I just think about it for a second? I get, oh, I'm going to have a chocolate sundae in one minute. <laughs> Come on! Seriously, fans, you have nearly killed my soul! It's just because you invited so many other good people here that I'm not all more up in arms. Come on! Seriously, just, oh man. 
And then uh, we get to the last three, Brad, Joe, and Steven, and Brad knew that he was out. I'm like, yeah, you should not have saved these people for last. It wasn't even climatic. Brad knew that he wasn't going to be there because everybody loves Spencer and all the females are all over Joe. Although, unlike other times, the females have been all over Joe, Ozzy, and Malcolm... Joe did definitely seem to have a good, um, social game. It was just, um, everybody, um, forced him down. Although, um, that's not entirely being fair to the Malcolm and Ozzy, because Malcolm had a good game the first time he played. I'm really emphasizing first. And Ozzy, uh, did seem to improve in, uh, trying to make moves, at least from what I've heard in Micronesia and, um, South Pacific. Although, from what I've heard, his personality didn't increase, so, yeah. Yeah, so I really hope that Joe just behaves differently this time. Uh, so I can uh, not put my finger on him, but um, be satisfied with the hype he's getting. Uh, definitely one of the times that I'm looking at it and I go, this hype isn't totally deserved, you know. Because, like, I'm somebody who never uses the terms over and underrated, because in my mind, everybody is always noticeable, and the question is, do I agree with the majority opinion? Yeah, but I have definitely used overhyped, okay? Right. But those two going in, it wasn't a surprise. Although, I gotta be honest, when Brad wasn't selected, I was looking at him and I go, Actually, you know what, dude? I've actually completely forgotten about you. I wouldn't be opposed to seeing you come back. And, like, I remembered out of the blue a comment that he made to, like, Pav on the after show, stating that, you know, if I had was selected to play again, or if I was playing without Monica there, I totally would have been playing a different game, and I was trying to remember how he said it, and I go, actually, you know what, dude, I believe you. I believed him then, and I still do, so... Yeah, the guy who was totally bitching about Brad in every single video, and the, did this the second that he was eliminated, <laughs> no longer has anything against Kim or Abby, huh? Goes to show, I can change people if I get enough of a rest from them, because seriously, that's all that happened. I've changed my opinion because nobody has ever talked about them since. Huh? Right. And, uh, who do I think replaced Mike? Um, it's either Keith or Wu, I think. Yeah, no, 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 sorry. Keith, Wu, Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gotta be one of these people. Right. But like I said, I'm mostly happy with the, uh, cast that they've... Chosen, biggest affront for me is Shane, not to being there, would place Kiefer Wu with him, and I probably wouldn't have any complaints at all. The women, I honestly um, can't really complain about. I feel like they've done some nice choices, and also given a couple of the lesser talked about people another chance. But I really hope that there isn't really any uh, sexism things that happened, either with the edit or how we remember people, because around Philippines, Jeff revealed that the reason male returnees have been brought back more often than females is because there's simply more cast bits. Now, I know that we are still kind of dominated in society by males, but just, you know, there are some good female players out there. A couple of them are right here, you know, so... Huh? Come on! Right. So I'll probably talk about the cast again if... If Jeff makes, you know, a cast assessment video detailing my thoughts because, you know, I'll start getting feelings about how these people are going to react the moment they get out there and that kind of thing. So that just leaves two questions about this season. One, is the double vote coming back? And two, if they're going to do a double tribal because... Um, this is the first time that they've done 20 people without Redemption Island since Nicaragua, and they haven't done a double tribal since then. So it's going to be real interesting to see if they're going to do that, because since they do Final 3 instead of Final 2, they can now have 18 people without doing a double tribal, so, hmm, interesting, huh? Okay, so I'm going to wrap this video up because I've spent the last 45 minutes talking to this thing, and I'm getting tired of talking. Later!